Okay, so this is my solenoid engine uh, version 2.0. It is the exact same uh, coil, same crankshaft, same everything, same batteries. Well, it didn't have the batteries in the last video, but I have changed the piece of wood out for a nice piece of wood, rather than the garbage piece of old wood I had before. I have put everything on more firmly. I've put a battery pack on. These are just NICAD batteries out of like a cordless leaf blower thing. Battery. And the way this works, this solenoid coil is here. And then that connects to the positive terminal of the batteries here. And then the negative terminal comes from here through this switch and up onto the crankshaft. So when this little wire contacts this part of the crankshaft, we get a pulse of electricity through here, through, through the solenoid. So, then that causes it to turn. Like so. Okay, so I just repositioned the camera there because it was getting a little, a little screwed up. But, like I said, this just contacts this part of the crankshaft and you get a pulse through the solenoid, which is timed correctly to yank the nail in and cause it to rotate. And I have our rubber band back here just held on with an alligator clip so that the solenoid doesn't just fly out. And the reason that this paper clip thing is here is because I didn't have any proper glue to glue this down when it fell out, so I just stuck that in a crack in the wood. And then the same, this is taped on for the same reason, because I didn't have any proper glue, but I will glue that on. So, we just turn it on and get it going. You can see that it works quite well. It's very quiet compared to my last model. So it works very well. It's very stable and it can go up to a very high speed actually. If I just push on this wire and if I, can, I just increase the tension here on the rubber band in the back, that'll allow me to go to a higher speed. So yeah, if I had to guess I'd be 900 RPM, so it's pretty good. And it does have more torque than you'd expect from a just a little thing like this. So, yeah, this is the Solon Engine version 2.0. And I have a two cylinder model that I will be making soon. So, once I have that made and put onto a nice board, I will upload that. And if you're watching this and you like this, then I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so if I get to 50 subscribers on my YouTube channel, I'm going to buy a high definition camera and start making videos much more often. So. If you enjoy this type of thing, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be building a two-stroke motorized bike on my channel soon. And I have all kinds of projects, mostly to do with different kinds of homemade engines coming in the near future. So if you would subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. Thank you.